Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a weekly reading for Sagittarius. Um, please don't take what resonates. Leave the rest. If it's not your story, please not try to make it fit, okay? Uh, keep in mind, everything is subject to free will, your free will, and anyone or anything that you are energetically connected to is your will, as well as the will of the divine. Okay? Okay. Not this deck. Sorry. Okay. My bad. Damn. All right, they want to use this deck. Okay, let's we'll start off. Okay, one second. How many shuffles spit? Hmm. I don't know what. Okay, all right, fine. I'm doing it right now. Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> all right, spirit, please show me Sagittarius this week, please. This week in September 2021. You have Freya, love, fertility, sexuality. Okay. Maybe some of you are trying to get pregnant. Healing and medicine. Okay. Okay. With these two cards right here, either you're finding out that you're pregnant or you're telling somebody you're on the pill, but you're not and you're getting pregnant on purpose. Or getting someone pregnant. Okay. Omniscient advisor and counsel. You're being advised about this, okay? You're being advised to not do this. Mirror, near, uh, mirror, I'm not saying that right. I know I'm not saying these words right. Okay, why is Freya here? Frey, it says spring and new beginnings. Yeah, you might be trying to get pregnant here, for real. Unresolved emotions, out of unresolved emotions or jealousy or wanting to have something that you cannot, no longer have. You also have ambition and collaboration here. Yeah. You need to think about this before you do this because to get pregnant just because you want somebody or want a situation to go your way is not justification to bring a life into the world that you may not be ready to care for. Or, and if you are, then great. But if you're do, what are you, what are the reasons you're doing this for? Why are you doing this though? Okay, let me see. All right, we have, whatever that word is, decision, performance, and impact. You want to leave a mark. You also have Scotty, ambition, and the hunt. That's what, okay. Sagittarius, I feel like this is a Sagittarius woman. You're trying to get pregnant on purpose in order to get back at somebody. So you can have a long-standing um, tie to them. Why the fuck would you do that? I'm calling your ass out right now. Why the fuck would, the first human woman, why the fuck would you do that? Hospitality, abundance, and, and currents. So why would you do this? Why would you do this? I'm not saying all of you are doing this, but some of you are. And if it's a Sagittarius man doing this, uh, you're, you're getting somebody pregnant on purpose in order to keep them in your life. Why would you do that? That's some, this is some dirty shit. Uh, Sagittarius men, if you're doing this, you're being dirty. Sagittarius women, if you're doing this, you're being dirty too. I mean, I got to call it. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, coddle your fucking feelings. If you're doing this, you're being fucked up. You are. And yes, I will say that. If you don't like it. I don't give a fuck. It's not. It's. Why the fuck would you do that? This is like, that's some like, I don't even know. That's some petty ass shit. Okay. Okay, you might be going to a woman to get some type of hospitality from her only to stab her in the back. That's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. I don't care. Okay, you see there's three women here too. So if you were a third party Sagittarius and you're doing this because you didn't get the guy or the girl or what the fuck ever, um, you, I'm sorry, but you need to grow up and let it go. Heal and move on. I mean, I'm not trying to be a dick about it. Nevertheless, like, what the fuck are you doing? This has long-lasting implications here. Lifelong implications. Over some petty shit. All right. Yeah, this, I mean, that's fucked up. And before anybody comes and emails me or comments on my community page, oh, you shouldn't judge. Listen, I'm telling you right now, even spirits, like, this is not cool. This has karma. 
100% attached to it. It's just, this has some type of judgment on it. And like, it's even giving me a fucking headache. This is some high school baby drama, petty ass bullshit. Seriously. Show me Sagittarius. I feel like this is a Sagittarius woman, but very well could be a Sagittarius man doing this to a woman. It's like trying to get her, oh, I have a condom, poke holes in it. Put her in a weird position. Got to choose. Or this is a, a Sagittarius woman saying, I'm on the pill, but really it's a fucking sugar pill. Or they're not taking their pill and they're getting pregnant on purpose to, to trap someone. Okay, let's see. Show me Sagittarius, please. King of Coins. Yeah, because you want stability here. You want a person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You want to you want to win. This is about winning. This is not about moving forward. This is about fucking winning. Taurus energy. This is about winning. Oh, shit, I have more than one. We got the three of coins. This is about winning and the hanged man. You're, this is more about winning versus it is about collaboration. You just want to win. You just want to win. You're willing to go to the ends of the earth just to win. On per, just, just to win. The nine of coins, yep. You want to be the abundant one. You want to be the one who's chosen, if that's the case here. We got Virgo energy, Pisces energy. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. You want someone to have some type of tie to you going forward. We also have the Knight of um, Wands here in reverse. You want to tempt somebody in order to choose you. Three of Coins, please, to build with you versus somebody else because now they have no other choice because you're pregnant or you've gotten them pregnant. Three of Coins. Seven of Cups in reverse. Yeah. You don't want them to have any other options except for you because of your jealousy. This is going to be revealed. You're going to be, yeah, death in reverse. You don't want something to change. You want to punish somebody who was already with them because you didn't get picked as the third party. Or you didn't, or this person that you're dealing with, if you're, if you're a woman and you're not doing this, but you had a third party, this person wants to come at you. Yep. They want to, they don't want it to end. Um, and they want to come at you, okay? If you, same thing if you're a Sagittarius man, same thing. But if you're a Sagittarius woman and you were the third party and you didn't get picked, you're willing to do whatever it takes to keep this person, and that makes you a pick me person, a pick me, pick me woman. It does. It does. It makes you a pick me. Um, if the cross watcher who is the third party is doing this, they're a pick me person. Male or female doesn't matter. Somebody here is a very strong pick me. But meanwhile, being conniving and manipulating that person into forcing them to pick them. Okay, we have the chariot in reverse. You don't want them to move on from you. You're willing. You're willing to get make them stay with you by any means necessary. Any means necessary. That makes you a pick me, male or female, does not matter. Show me the Knight of Wands reverse, please. Very fucking impulsive and reckless here. The star reverse. You do not want this person to have any form of wish fulfillment because you didn't get picked. This is, uh, I don't like this reading. And I really don't, I hope that this is none of the Sagittarius that I read for, for talking about clients and or my YouTube channel because I don't, this is bullshit. This is utter fucking bullshit. Male or female, I don't give a, I don't give a damn. What you're doing, if this is one of you guys, you fucked up for it, and I'm going to call your ass out. Seven of Cups reverse. Yeah, you want to hold on to this person. you, But you, not because you want them, not really. It's because you just got to win. You have to win. Or you're the third, you know, cross watcher. You might be the third party. You just got to hold on to Sagittarius because you just got to win. Show me death card reverse. Nothing's changing. Someone is not going to change their perspective on you or, you're, or you them. But I feel like it's more them on you. We have the Queen of Wands. That's you. Yep. You want just the two of you to be here. So you want to get a Scorpio possibly or an Aquarius or a Cancer out of the way. Possibly even an Aries, uh, a Leo or another Sagittarius. Chariot Reverse. 
strength, what is that? No, excuse me, justice in reverse. What you're doing is creating a massive injustice here, what you're doing. You're going to regret it. Oh, Spirit is saying you're going to fucking regret it. If you continue this path, male or female, I get strong feminine energy though, you will end up regretting this. But it's your life and your decisions. But if you fuck with somebody else who had nothing to do with you, who didn't do shit to you, like the person that might have been like the main person, male or female, you fuck with them, you're going to pay a price. And it's going to be a heavy price. Star reverse. Yeah, you don't want somebody to have their wish fulfillment about getting married. The hermit reverse, you want them to repeat past mistakes. You might even be tempting someone to cheat with you in order to tell their person to uh, choose you. Because you just want to hold on them. Or you might try to get pregnant or get them pregnant on purpose. Or you're going to try to, like, falsify something that happened. Or you're going to falsify an event that didn't actually happen. So you can get them in trouble with the law, which makes, if that's the case, it makes them even more, makes you even more fucked up. Four of coins makes you a fucking traitor. This is despicable energy. I hope I'm not, I hope this is none of my clients and uh, I hope this is nobody on my channel because I, this is despicable. This is absolutely like ratchet. This is ratchet energy. It's disgusting. In fact, I'm not even going to finish the reading. I don't, I'm not going to. You know why? Because it's 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 uh, it's ratchet energy. I don't have time for it. I'm not even giving you no fucking guidance. So maybe I don't know who this reading is for. Hopefully, it's not one of my clients and, you know, like, I do readings for personal readings for. It better not be because if that's the case, I won't fucking read for you again. I won't fucking read for you again. Period. It better not be anybody that I know personally. I won't fucking read for you again and I won't deal with you. Because this right here is fucked up. Now, does that make me judgmental about it? Maybe, maybe not. Nevertheless, if this is what you're doing, male or female, doesn't matter. Period. Because you whatever i won't fuck with you like that this is beneath you or was supposed to be beneath you know your worth know know your worth okay sorry to come down to you guys like that but this that's bullshit all right y'all take care of yourself maybe watch your mercury retrograde reading i'll post it in the comment section below thanks bye